everyone, this is Tristina Dietz Elms, and I have laid out here a 60 inch or 5 foot by 20 inch canvas that I'm going to be painting for a client today. So I'm going to be using these Pebio paints that I'm showing here. I prepared the canvas, it's just a regular gessoed canvas, and I prepared it with some acrylic paint. So here you see the Pebio turquoise color number 30 and that's a flat paint and then I used two shimmery paints on here this is the Pebio Dyna 357 which is a blue green shimmer paint and a little bit darker this is also the Pebio Dyna number 358 and that's iridescent green blue so those are the colors that I mixed together and used a palette knife to put on this canvas to prepare it to be ready to receive the Pebio liquid oil paints that I have here. So we're gonna be working with the Vitrail paint. Vitrail stands for stained glass. So this is the Vitrail stained glass medium. So this is a liquid oil paint, you can see here. And this is gonna be the base for these other paints. I like to use it as a primer for my canvas. I'm gonna show you how. And then we have other colors of vitrail paint that are gonna be thinned out in this medium. And then the self-reactive paints. So the self-reactive paints are your prism paint and your moon paint. Here, so prism and moon. And then I like to add some glitter to my work. So this is glitter medium vitrail. It's some glitter in the uh, vitrail lightning medium base. And I'm gonna be applying that with a pipette. So this pipette's also from Pebio. And then I'm gonna sprinkle in some of these resin bubbles that I make separately. I showed you some of those in another video, but it's Pebio's resin, and I colored the Pebio resin with some of the vitrail paint and put those on a Teflon sheet, and I was able to make these separate resin bubbles that I'm going to be putting into the work. Here for my tools, I have some invisible glove and gloves in a bottle. These are to protect my hands. But today I'm going to use a pair of nitrile gloves because I'm gonna have a lot of paint open here. And I have my palette knives. My preference is to move the paint around with a palette knife and then let the paint do the work rather than doing brush strokes that are very uh, specific. And I have mixing sticks. So you'll see down here, I have a whole selection of mixing sticks because all these liquid oils need to be mixed or stirred with a stick some paper towels. I have some shop towels in case I need to clean anything up. And I have some spirits, mineral spirits, solvent for oil paint for cleanup. If you need to, this Windsor Newton Sansador is a good oil paint solvent that you can use with the moon paint or the Pebio prism paint if they've gotten a little bit thick and you want to thin them down when you're painting with them. I have my canvas set up high on some empty used Pebio paint bottles, the liquid oil bottles, so that it's raised up off of my table and I've covered the table with a plastic tablecloth so that it'll be very easy to clean up when I'm done. Now you'll notice over here that there's a level on the canvas in order to keep the paint from running off it helps if you level the canvas first so when i put this level on the canvas i use some sticks underneath the small bottles to make sure that the canvas was level before i poured it so let's get started I'm taking the moon paint and using a stir stick to 
to stir up the mica that's in the bottom of the bottle because the oil and the mica will separate. So I'm not gonna show you doing it for every bottle, but that's what I'm gonna do with all the bottles that are here to get them ready. You wanna be sure your room is well ventilated because these paints, these liquid oil paints do have solvents in them and so you're gonna be able to smell it. And I have a fan that's gonna blow across this piece and out the other room in order to get those fumes to move out.
So now I have the resin bubbles that I showed earlier, and I'm gonna put those in in the areas where it's a little more white because you can see they're somewhat transparent. And once this liquid oil paint dries, it will hold these in place. a trick if you want to be sure that your top will be able to be open later is take some Vaseline and run it around the edge after wiping it off and when you put your lid back on you'll find that that will help you to be able to take the lid back off later and so now I'm gonna put on some of the glitter medium This is going to be cleaned out in a jar with mineral spirits so that it can get fully clean and I can use it again. And that is it. So we will let this dry and then I'll show you the final picture. I hope you enjoyed that making of and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks a bunch. See you on the next one.